welcome back to my channel it is the life of jasmine and i'm back with another video so today's video y'all is gonna be all about thanksgiving dinner um right now i just got my greens inside of the sink i'm washing my greens off these are already pre-cut greens i got from publix i got some turnip greens and i got some mustard greens so i'm just rinsing these off letting all the bacteria get off these are some onions some celery and some green pepper that i also pre-cut um off video but yeah i made sure that i cleaned those off and cut those up because i will be using those later on these are my boiled eggs um i'm about to boil these eggs because i will be using it for the potato salad these are my seasonings that i'll use for my greens honestly i don't have specific i just be throwing stuff in the greens and it just always hangs out right and i always make sure it's spicy the only thing that i didn't show was the cayenne pepper but i always make sure my greens are spicy but this time y'all i'm using a crock pot i own this is my first time using a crock pot for my greens i usually put them on the stove but because i was making so much i wanted to cook the greens in a slow cooker so i didn't have to keep watching them on the stove so i put a little chicken broth in there and i put a couple of chicken buon cubes and i got this from my mom my mom was just like do this it'll help out the greens will be really juicy and they'll still turn out good so i also put all my seasoning y'all in this crock pot that i just showed y'all i put a whole onion yes a whole entire onion i put inside of that i get that from my mama so yeah i put a whole onion right here on the stove is my smoked turkey wings that will also be going into the greens. So these are the smoked turkey wings that I got. I got them from Publix. Um, yeah, pretty much, yeah. So I put that in my greens. On to the next, here are my ingredients for my potato salad. So I got the mayo, I got the sweet pickle relish, I got the celery, I got the onions, I got the mustard, and I got my boiled eggs, as y'all seen. And then I had cut up some potatoes and peeled some potatoes, and I boiled them. And I also got some salt, and then the red little stuff is the pimentos. So all this stuff is going to be getting mixed together and put together for this potato salad so right now y'all as y'all can see i'm just cutting the eggs um into the bowl where the potatoes are so i'm just cutting them in my hand and yes i wash my hands before this because when i make the potato salad i do everything with my hand Look at her. Huh. Look at the woman, look at her. Huh. That ain't my, that ain't my, that ain't my girl, that's my nigga. Catch me out on ocean drive with her. Hey. Catch me in the whip, ride with her. Hey. Sipping something, bumping big, hypnotized with her. Pray you get that job in Tampa. That's only four hours away. Take a car, take a plane, baby, whichever is faster. Oh, whichever one is in the household, oh damn yeah, man. Oh, never knew, no, I never knew that you be a freak and a friend too. Yeah, you into everything I'm into. Oh, I got something that I can lend you. Oh, a peace of mind, baby, come and get a peace of mind. Yeah. Say you gotta work from three to nine. Oh, I get you home by a decent time. Wait, your bed, you can sleep in mine. Yeah. Let's make it happen, girl, I need some time Speaking of time, who stopped it? That's the feeling that I get when we lock lips I got the weed at the crib and the liquor too I f*** your soul, I release in your spiritual I be your muse, bring your easel and pencils so Here you go, you try and tease with them pictures You could ride on me just like you ride the elliptical She said I'm tryna keep it tight for my nigga Girl, I like your last nigga, all I need is mental You know I'll work you out, get you right with your physical Always just another interlude so y'all i'm about to go in now with my mustard and honestly i don't have no specific measurements for any of this i just start pouring it in there as y'all can see 
So I'll go ingredient by ingredient and y'all will see the process. Again, I use my hands to mix everything together. I have no specific measurements for this. I just go as I go and then at the end I'll kind of like taste a little bit to see if it's to my liking. Please never entertain them cause that would hurt me and feel me. Yeah. 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 I know you feel me. Oh, I know you feel me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whoa, whoa. Huh. Girl, I know you feel me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. So much to live for, true, baby. Whoa. Let's not rush into it now. Let's not rush into it. When we get to it, we can give it all that we got. So this is the part where I had my boyfriend come in and put the celery and onions in there and also add a couple of things that I felt like needed to be added more of because I did taste it. Um, so at this point, I'm just having him help me out because my hands are completely messy and I just don't want to be touching a bunch of stuff. But yeah, so I'm mixing it, I'm mixing, I'm mixing it. Y'all gonna see what I add more of. So my smoked turkey wing is ready and it is in the crock pot and now it's time to add the greens little by little. So I add the greens little by little because as many may know, greens cook down. So once they cook down um, and they settle down, I'll keep adding more and more and more to complete all the greens that I have. But at this point, I was just doing little by little, making sure these went down. And then when these went down, I had to get the rest from the sink. So after I put those in, this is what's remaining in the sink so far. And yeah, the process just kept going. And also I kept the crock pot on high, y'all. I kept it on high. Um, I did end up come, like putting it down too low once I went to sleep because I did have these sitting overnight. So as y'all can see, it's on low. This is when all the greens were inside as well. <laughs> This is the type of ham that I got. I got the shank portion bone in ham. I got this from Aldi's, y'all. Very inexpensive. This is the type of ham that my mom always gets and that she always makes. So, you know, make sure that I got that type of ham. With the ham that I make, I make a glaze. And I got this recipe again from my mother. I use brown sugar, I use honey. I use pineapple slices and the juice in the pineapple slices. And then I use some mustard. I use all these ingredients for my glaze. Um, yeah, y'all, it just makes it taste so much better. Like, y'all don't even understand. It makes it taste so good. It gives it that sweet, like, oh, y'all just don't understand. Like, words can't even understand. But, yeah, this is the glaze that I use to pour on the ham 
before I put it into the oven and I also save half of that or a little bit left to pour it on the ham after the ham is completely done and it's getting ready to be served.
to Georgia, back to Atlanta Money, how brothers and turn back I'm a fly Priscilla, I'll just be better Don't so mesmerize by that ass The way she moves it, I can tell that she loves me Nigga can't help but to touch Smack it round a bit, then sip on some bubble Hope I'm not doing too much Strange new additions, pick up on the road Change my opinion, and change on my flaws Change my approach, no more Love in these holes and when it rains, it pours Hey, you make me feel so primal That's what I am I'm just a man to make my dressing so i got some imperial margin and some olive oil and i put it inside a little pan because i'm about to fry my veggies so i got some green peppers i got some onion and i got some celery and as y'all gonna see i'm gonna fry it in the pan make sure it's all soft and sauteed like so i can put this inside of my mix for my dressing So 
I have this cornbread here. I made this cornbread at the top of the day before I made anything else so I can get a little, you know, a little harder. It's not too soft. I got my sage, I got my black pepper, and I got my chicken broth. And then I have my stuffing mix. Now, all of this, including the cornbread, is all going inside this dressing mix. This is how everything looks when it's all mixed together. You should get this like cakey like consistency of the dressing. Once you're all done, I'm going to put it into this foil pan and then I'm going to make sure everything is settled and then I'm going to put it into the oven and I made sure my oven was on 350. Whoa. So y'all, here's the finishing touches. I got my potato salad, my deviled eggs. I got my dressing. I got my macaroni. Yes, that macaroni was smack, y'all. I'm telling y'all, I did my do. This is the gravy for the dressing. Here's my ham. Look at it all juicy with the glaze and all the juices. It was just perfect. Here goes some rolls. I put it in the oven. My boyfriend just wanted some rolls. And last but not least, here are my greens, y'all. Like, my greens were so freaking good and spicy. It was just right. My Thanksgiving dinner was amazing. I hope y'all had an amazing holiday because mine was great. I did my big one and happy Thanksgiving to you guys once again and to your families.